Hey Sanjay, good morning. So I know I'm late on my video, it's Monday, so I'm gonna cut to the chase. Vlog dates, four vlogs, I'm going to film one vlog a month and each vlog is gonna be a traveling vlog. I'm gonna go to four different cities, New York, Montreal, Toronto, and Waterloo. Today's video is gonna be a crash course on filming on your diesel. There are three factors you need to consider once you hit the record button. You need to factor in your focus, you need to factor in your exposure, and you need to factor in your composition. Focus is simply this. If I'm out of focus now, but I'm in focus now. This is basically the lines of the lens converging to focus on a point, which is me. If the convergence point is the back there, that means I'm out of focus and my backpack over there is in focus. Second thing is a composition. A composition is what's in my frame. If I want a medium shot, that's a shot from, let's say, my head to my tummy. If I want a close up, that could be like something like this on my lens cap. If you want to read like that. Let's get to the third and most important thing and that's exposure. Exposure is this. The amount of light in your image. There's three things that affect your exposure that you have control of on your camera. Okay, the three things are one, your ISO, your shutter speed, and your aperture. With all of these things, there are pros and cons to each. Everything is a trade-off to get more light in your image. Let's start with shutter speed. When shooting on a high shutter speed, you get a crisp image, but you get less lighting. If we turn down our shutter speed, we get more light into our scene, but we get more blur when we're moving. If we turn down our shutter speed, like this, we get less light into our scene. But when we move, the image is sharper, so motion is captured better. Next thing we're gonna talk about, very simple, is ISO. ISO originally stemmed from film, when we use old film strips and cameras and such. ISO on your DSLR is tricking the chip inside your camera to thinking that there's more light inside the image. Your trade-off on this is to get more light in the image, you get a grainy image. The last thing, and my favorite thing, is aperture. What aperture is, is the opening of the lens. The larger the opening the lens is, you get things out of focus in the background, which means if I'm moving forward and then backwards, it's harder to keep things in focus. The big trade-off to a low aperture is money. Lenses with low apertures cost bank, yo. This lens, for example, is a 1.8 aperture, but has a fixed focal length, which means you can't zoom with it. But the background's so blurry, which means I pop, as well as there's a lot of light let into the image. That's how you shoot it in DSLR. Okay, so to wrap this up, composition, what's in your shot? Are you framing it properly? Second thing is focus. Am I in focus? Is the background in focus? What are you focusing on? The third most important thing is exposure. Is there enough light in your scene? Well, you're gonna control that with your shot speed, your aperture, and your ISO. For a tip, you want the lowest ISO you can get. You want your shutter speed to be one over your frame rate times two, which means if I'm shooting at 30 frames per second, I want my shutter speed to one over 60. And aperture is easy. I always wanna shoot on the lowest aperture because it looks the most cinematic and it lets the most amount of light in. That's how you film on a DSLR. That's what all those things do. It's all the buttons do in the back of your camera. Yeah, I hope that taught you things. Anyway, Sanjay, I'll see you on Thursday. Have a great week and I'm I'm Skyping you soon, my boy.